heard somebody talking, I was capping. There was somebody in my channel, in my community just now on Twitch, talking about he capping, he ain't putting it back on. Who ain't putting it back on? Who ain't putting it back on? Do you know how much this was? Do you know how much we spent to bring the live action power line to life? You think it would only get one good usage a year? I plan on wearing this once a month, goddammit. I love this goddamn, and I ain't put the belt on. I didn't put the belt on. You got the gloves, you got the fit, and I feel good. I can't flex, I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, AKA Mr. Slick Living. Um, hope y'all are well. Hope everybody good. Uh, you know, this is uh, the final day of November. We're getting ready to go into December now. And uh, holiday season. Of course, you got Christmas, then the New Year, and then it's 2021, and that's it. Once a month. Oh yeah, once a month. I I I don't even. I'm not even capping with that. Once a month, this is coming on. Um, I looked at it. It was in my closet today, and I was like, "Gee," and I walk outside now, right now. What you talking? What you talking about? Let me switch the camera to the other one for y'all. Hold on. Let me see if I go. If I go to boom. Y'all can see the full fit. Yep, there you go. Then y'all can see the full fit. Woo! Somebody's subscription ends tomorrow on the Twitch. Aww. Well, I hope you... Hey, shout out to Jess Renee. Just give the five subs to the community on the uh, twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas page. Sugar Mama Jess coming through. What's up? What it do? I'm about to put the belt on. Hold on. I'll be right back. Because they think it's a game. They think it's a game. Did y'all forget that I am Halloween King three years running? Huh? Did you forget? You must have forgot. You must have forgot that I single-handedly, along with, I take that back, I take that back, you got to give respect where respect is due. Big shout out to uh, Tabrija Majors, who went on and remade all of Beyonce's uh, iconic moments in, in music video history. Shout out to Tabrija Majors. I thought that was really special. I think it was between me and her as far as king and queen of Halloween this year. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, look at the boy. Look. Get him with the mm, get him with the belt with the shine on it. But uh, you know. I feel good. I feel great, man. Uh, for several reasons. For several reasons just now. Uh, the only thing that's missing, obviously, is the hair. That's it. That's the only thing that's missing right now. Because the hair was... My hair was crazy. It's crazy because my hair actually did look like this. My hair really did look like that in the video. And I got this this picture uh, two years ago. Someone painted... Someone... Uh, this is uh, Marco Masterminds Connect. Some of you guys may be familiar with his work. Um, he was commissioned to draw me for my birthday. That to me is Archer Cleo, Batman Cleo, Goofy Movie Cleo, and Boss Burgers Cleo. So it's kind of cool. But, um... What was, I, what was I getting ready to talk to y'all about? Oh, I got some really good news. Um, I, I just said that like so nonchalantly. No, the news that I got today at a, like two hours ago. It's like, it's, it's like you, you work your ass off, right? You work your ass off. You do what you love in life. First and foremost, you got to find out what you want to do in life, what your passion is in life. And then when you do that thing, nothing else really matters sure you want to be the i don't know about for some of y'all but you want to be the best at what you do i want to be the best at what i do i'm competitive it's just in my blood i don't know what it is i am a competitive person by nature so when i do something i want it to be a level top tier undefeated unbeatable that type that's just how my brain works so in life you find your passion and you, that's all you just work at you work at the things that you only care about and it's, it's hard for a lot of a lot of people because other outside influences, you know, people tell you, man, you should do this or they tell the girl, hey, you should focus on this. But at the end of the day, what is feeding your happiness? You know, what is feeding your soul and what is keeping you going, keeping you motivated? Are you waking up every day happy to be chasing the thing that would ultimately bring you peace of mind? And I am fortunate enough to 
have known what I wanted to do since I was five years old. Uh, has it been the easiest road in the world? Hell no, by any means necessary. I told my mom at five I wanted to be an actor. Do you know that I'm pretty sure if she knew what I was going getting ready to endure for the rest of my life, she'd have been like, whoa, 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 whoa. don't know about that. Uh, but you know, luckily I got a family who loves me, who supports me, who's uh, you know been my foundation, my solid foundation to keep me always moving on to the next thing and never really having to to be so focused on other people's love and care for me. Like, no, nah, like I got a family, my family cares about me. So it's very important that you find what it is that keeps you going, keeps you motivated. I'm like one of the lucky people in love in the world that I know what I'm doing every single day I wake up. Every day I wake up, I got a goal in mind, I got something to do. I, and what's the um, what, what's the old school saying? Uh, a, a, a something mine is the devil is the devil's playground. What is it? The an idle mind? An idle mind is the devil's playground. Something like that. Yeah, I'm lucky to never have an idle mind. Now, mind you, there's some pros and cons to that. Because I can't just sit still. I got like I got to be working on something. And there's some people who don't like that. That's that's caused many issues in my relationships because it's just like, yeah, I'm like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, now back to this. And I'm just as as soon as it's as soon as the little moment is over with, as far as we're done, we're having a great time, and the door's closed. Boom, right back to it. And then folks, thank you know you're supposed to lay up all day, talk all day, converse all day, you know, have the have the little chit chat and the cutesy little messages that go back and forth and things like. N no, no, we, we got work to do, baby. I got I got to get to work. I got to get to work around here. Shout out to Danny Destino. Thank you so much for gifting five more subs to the community. I highly appreciate it. Um. Yeah, man, we, we had a great, I had a great, thank you so much to all the gifted subs. I really do appreciate it. Our November sub goal is way, way over our, our uh, original number, but thank you guys. If you're watching on Instagram, you should be here. You should be here on Twitch because there's gifted subs going on. There's, uh, we watched Legends of the Hidden Temple yesterday. You guys remember that from uh, Nickelodeon? Legends of the Hidden Temple, one of my all-time favorite shows. There's some people who've never even seen it. We watched Legends of the Hidden Temple. We watched Guts. Uh, in the future, we're gonna try to watch um, Double Dare. We're gonna try to watch uh, Figure It Out. You guys remember Figure It Out with Lori Beth Denberg? Oh my gosh, shout out to Lori Beth Denberg. Oh, shout out to Lori Beth Denberg. I love Lori Beth. Uh, I can't sell the news. I can't tell you guys the news. Not yet. Not yet. Just know, just know. When it is announced and you guys see it, you'll know that it was for a good reason. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. When you see it and it is revealed, that's it. That's it. That's all it takes. You'll see. You'll see. Um, yeah, man. But that, that was really it. I just kind of wanted to jump on here and put on my power line costume from this Halloween. Like I told you, once a month, once a month, I'm in it. I'm, I'm showing off because, hey, this is because of y'all. I talked about it on my Twitch channel. My Twitch channel said, we want to see it. I said, let's do it. They helped make the costume come to life. Twitch gave me the budget to be able to go shoot the power line video this Halloween. Was able to hire a, a crew to shoot it was able to hire a choreographer, was able to hire two dancers, was able to book the studio, was able to book the stage, was able to book the man to uh, to take care of the lighting and the fog machines and the screens. And you guys, what you guys, you got what you got on Halloween. And I just want to say, I just want to, I just want to point out the fact that, you know, to have this, to have this little power line Funko Pop, boom, right? Like dog, dog, y'all, y'all lucky. The world is lucky right now that like conventions and and uh, you know uh, what, what's the San Diego San Diego Comic Con and Anime Expo. They lucky. Everybody else is lucky that it's closed off. And the D, you know D twenty three Expo because I would have pulled up just like this. Hair did just like in the video. I got myself in motion. I know you'll understand. Set the world in motion. Reaching out each other's hands, one way or another. Together's where we both. Hey, yeah. 
one way or another. Y'all can't have all that. It's already out there. Go watch it on YouTube. Get my videos views up, please. I'd highly appreciate that. Shout out to the guy who screen recorded the actual video. Okay, he screen recorded the video, put it on his Facebook, and it hit a million views. It hit a million views on this guy's Facebook, and he just screen recorded it. I'm like, but I did, I did all the work. And that's just the thing about the internet. You just never know. He screen recorded it, put it on his Facebook, and it hit a million views. And it's okay. It's okay. That's fine. Because at the end of the day, it was for me, I don't do stuff for the views or the numbers like that. For me, it's being able to just continually continuously be creative and continuously feel fulfilled in um, you know, my passion, the things that I do. So I love the fact that over a million views happen from somebody sharing it to their community on Facebook. I thought that was beautiful. So yeah, thank you guys. There was something else. There was something else. There was something else. Hold on. There was something else. I had to tell everybody. Oh! I had my very first training session today. Guy De Silva. Backtrack from UALA. Also known as Black Panther Stunt Double. I had my very first training session with Guy De Silva today for our Batman Beyond project. Um, I loved every second of it. Um, I talked to Chris directed UALA and I think I, I told you guys that for him it's uh it's just about for Chris it's just about uh, a timing thing because he's supposed to be shooting in another country um when it was lined up for us to shoot okay so after working with Guy today talking to Chris Pretty much what they told me is clear. You're gonna have to buy a second suit. So there will, I would have, to, I'm gonna have to go back to our guy in which we ordered the Batman Beyond suit from, and hopefully figure out if I do go ahead and order a second suit uh, to be able to pull off some of these stunts so it at least looks good from scene to scene. You know, we can't just have one and then when it gets destroyed on day one, then we're screwed. So I do need to go get another one from the guy. Um, remember, the guy only makes two a month. So what I'm hoping is that if I, because it's been, it's been about a week and a half now since we ordered the first one, so I'm hoping once it's ordered, or excuse me, once I go back to him, that he'll be able to give me both uh, by the end of February, which was the original date. If he doesn't, that's a conflict of schedule for, um, that's a conflict of schedule for what I wanted to initially intend to do, which was to shoot it and have it done and be able to release on Batman's birthday, which is April 17th in the fictional world. Uh, so that's just where we're at right now. So this is a working in progress kind of play. I'm taking the bumps and rolls as I go with it. But nonetheless, this is a project that is in pre-production all the way through. And uh, I will continuously keep you guys updated as we continue to roll on to the next step with everything. Cool? Cool. Well, that's it. That's all, that's all I really had to say on that. Um, did I eat today? I've been eating like crazy. Okay? Let me tell you. What, let me show you what just showed up. Hold on. Stay, stay right there. Let me show you what just showed up. First time I've ever bought one. The very first time I have ever bought a scale, ladies and gentlemen. I bought a scale. I did. I did. Because I had to. I gotta know where I'm starting at and what I'm working toward. And I never thought the scale thing was needed. But it is. If I want to work my ass off, I gotta be able to uh, to get right. So I gotta scale. So a scale is in the works to get me right as far as the frame goes in the body. Yes? Yes. So we uh we waking up every morning, we're gonna weigh ourselves, we're gonna work out, we're gonna eat every single day, eat heavier, take the protein shakes, weigh ourselves before we go to sleep, wake up the next day, do it again, do it again, do it again. Um, we are currently going into December, January, we got December, January, February, March, April. So technically, if our timeline was to uh, stay the course as what it is right now, I got four months to put on 10 to 15 pounds. Easy. No, I take that back. Not easy. It's not easy, but it's going to be 
a hell of a journey and I've committed myself to this to be able to have the look that I'm looking to achieve on camera uh, for this project. So there it is. That's what we're doing. Hopefully it works and hopefully it all works out, man. Like I said, it, it, off top, I'm having a lot of uh, conflicting schedule, schedule problems, but if it does not line up, I'll come back to you guys and let you know what the update is and then we figure out what's uh, plan B. And just stay moving from there. Cool? All right. Um, oh, yeah. I'm, I told you. I'm in the Powerline costume. Once a month. Once a month, I'm pulling it out. Once a month, the Powerline costume comes out. Um, what else is going on? Uh, tomorrow? No, no, no. On Wednesday. On Wednesday, I'm playing in the Call of Duty tournament. Uh, presented by 300 Entertainment, which, you know, holds, manages, you know, some of the biggest names. The Meg Thee Stallion, the Young Thugs. Uh, I believe, I think Lil Baby's over there, I could be wrong, but uh, 300 ENT is putting on a tournament uh, in which all the proceeds will be um, going toward helping HBCUs, so I'm really excited that. I'm excited about that to be playing in Call of Duty uh, Warzone with Aaron Simon and two other folks, and we're going to be having a lot of fun on Wednesday, Wednesday for that, so make sure you guys tune in twitch.tv slash Phil Thomas for that. Cool? Cool. You said what now? I come on your live and you see the fit. You should have been. If you, if this is your first time seeing this, Instagram, you late to the party. You mad late. You should have been here on Twitch a long time ago. One, two. You should have been checked out the video that's on IGTV when I remade the entire eye to eye stage performance from the actual Goofy movie. But you know what? It, you can YouTube it. You'll find it. I just, I, I don't, I don't do what you people anymore. Is it my fault that Instagram algorithm is bullshit? Huh? Is it my fault that they don't put it in chronological order anymore? They removed that years ago. Why? Go watch the Social Dilemma Netflix documentary and you'll see why. It don't matter. We are all slaves to whatever they say goes. There's something that could happen that could be the biggest announcement of my entire career. And most folks won't see it. Why? Because of the goddamn Instagram algorithm. That's what it is. Tell me I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Nope. Nope. You can't tell. You can't tell me what I know. That's another thing about me. You can't do. When I do the research, you can't tell me what I don't know, baby. Mm. But yeah, um, that's about it, man. You know, I just wanted to um, get a few hits off. You feel me? Put on my power line costume, and I'm staying in it for the rest of the night. I'm not taking this off. I'm not taking this off. This is it. I'm going to play some games with this on right now, okay? So if you would like to pull up, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on Instagram, head over twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas. Twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas. That's all you need to do. Once you get here, please let us know what platform you came from. Um, you will be welcomed with open arms. People are going to be happy to see you here. I'll be happy to see you here. You might just be gifted a sub. You never know when you get here. So pull on up and we'll go from there. When is the Kingdom Hearts stream? Ooh. Um, I would like to do that this month. I'd like to do that in December. I'd like to do a Kingdom Hearts stream in December. Um, like I said, for the rest of the every single stream in December, I will be doing giveaways. I will be giving away prizes from Box Lunch, from Chalk Line, uh, to Funko Pops, to Sign Holes DVDs. Something special for everybody. It's the holiday season. I love this time of year. I don't love it as much as I love the Halloween season, but it's 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 pretty close. So that's why I wanted to give back to you guys, and that's why uh, we'll be doing a giveaway every single stream in the month of December to get back to you guys. And we're currently we're currently working on. Am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to announce that? Oh, hold up. That's why they make you sign NDAs. Hold on. Hold up. Am I allowed to say that? Give me one second. Nope. Can't say it. There it is. Um, yeah, no. Can't say it. So we're working on a few things. Can't say it. Uh, you want these gloves? Yeah, uh, I wasn't gonna wear the gloves originally and then I showed up on the final day of the fitting to actually pick up the outfit 
and Brian, the uh, designer for this, the costume, said, uh, so I had put, I put this on, I had just put the sleeves, because this is all one piece, like, there's a, there's a long sleeve turtleneck underneath this thing, and then I put this on, I was just like, yeah, and then he put the belt on, I was like, yo, this, great, and then he walked over with the gloves, right, and then, hold on, let me, this, let me reenact, let me reenact what he did, so costume's on, alright, top, belt, the sleeves, I'm looking, I'm looking great, and he walks over and he's like, it looks great, right? Right, it looks amazing. I'm so happy you love it. And he, he hit me with one of these. And they, this is how the gloves were. He was just like, he was like, yeah. And I looked at the gloves, I was like, what am I supposed to do with these? What, what am I supposed to do with these? And he was like, you're gonna wear them. I was like, no, to be honest, I wasn't really planning on wearing the gloves. He was like, oh no, you're wearing the gloves. You're, you're gonna wear the gloves. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm wearing the gloves. I, I Listen, I respect my man's demeanor in which he was telling me I'm gonna have to wear these gloves. Okay. So, I put the gloves on. He had a full mirror in the in the room. Oh, by the way, the behind the scenes video uh, for, the, for the power line is coming, um, today's Monday. Friday or or either Friday or on Monday uh, the behind the scenes for the entire video shoot will be available for people to watch on my YouTube channel So boom, I put all the I put the gloves on I'm looking in the mirror and I was like I Wouldn't have thought I just because you know boom. Look, let's look at him here He's wearing gloves like we know he wears gloves. So y'all know he's wearing gloves. It's right there. But I didn't think I was gonna wear the gloves. Exactly, you gotta go all out. And that's exactly what he said. That's exactly what he said. He was like, you know, um, you have to go all out. And he was just very like there was there was a there was a calmness and a um and a sarcastic tone to it, but there was also, hey, this is my goddamn design and my goddamn art, and you're gonna wear what I tell you to wear. You came here, you wanted the professional look, I'm giving it to you. Put the goddamn gloves on, Cleo. And I was like, Bet, not even gonna argue with you. I've seen your work. I respect it. I put the gloves on and I was like, Yo, yeah, I'm wearing the gloves. And it made it makes the costume. It, without it, without the gloves, it don't hit. I I will admit that. Without the gloves, it don't hit. So, shout out to my man. Oh no, he he wasn't playing no games with me. No games at all. None. He said on period wear the gloves. That's that's per. But is, is it period or is it per? Cause now I'm confused, and I don't know if people are doing it as a joke. I don't know if it's an accent thing. Is it on period poo or is it on per? Which one is it? The first or the second one? Is it period, which is the first one, or is it on per? The second one. It's both. Oh god. This is why I don't deal with y'all. This is why I don't deal with y'all. This is why I don't deal with any of you. I don't. I don't have the patience. I don't have the tolerance to deal with. With, with this this stuff, I don't. I do not have the tolerance to be dealing with y'all. Oh, let me just sit down. You know, let power line sit down really quick. You know, it's official though. Like, right? I can I can take on that nickname officially. I can officially take on the, the nickname of power line, and no one's gonna feel some type of way. Like how how, how Chief Keith says, oh. Krr. Has Chief Keith ever said okr? Halloween is over with? <laughs> Not all with these tricks and treats I got coming around me, nigga. Fuck you, summer. What you mean? Halloween over with. Shit. <laughs> People wear masks every day. How's Halloween over? That's what I thought. Hold that. You know what I realized, y'all? You know what I realized? Twitch. My community. I love you guys. Y'all get me. Y'all understand me. We joke. We have a lot of fun here. Folks on Instagram. Legit. Have a problem. They have a problem. It's weird. It's almost like you can re... It's, but that's unfair to say. That's unfair to say. Because I was going to sit here and just... Before I stop myself, I was going to say it's the tone in which someone responds or comments. But then that's wrong because you can't read someone's tone through 
just text, right? You can't. Can you? You can't, right? Because if it is, Here's the also thing about me. You know what it is? I know exactly what it is. I just solved it in my own head. Here's the problem. When I read, I read things because, okay, coming from an acting background, so this, like a script, every line I'm looking for the intention in it because it has to be delivered a certain way. What is the thought process behind someone saying this line? So that's why I think I, okay, I figured it out. That's why. That's why. When I see it, my br Okay, so my apologies, my apologies. That's on me. That's on me. I'll, I'll take, I'll, 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 I'll take the responsibility for uh, coming at a few folks' neck when they think they got it like that. When, in all honesty, <laughs> it's the energy. But it's sad. It's so sad. It's so sad, bro. If we're being real, if we're being real. What comes with Instagram and so it's it's a lot of BS. You open up yourself for a lot of BS. You do, right? We can all agree to that. You do. You got to be prepared for a lot of the crap that you're getting ready to take on when with people. And if you don't care, you don't care. I'm one of the people who I don't care. Excuse me, I don't care. But if you say something and I respond. And your immediate response is, oh, look, they mad. Oh, look, he mad. Oh, then th that's that just ruins the fun. It ruins the fun of it. So you could say something, but I can't. And then I'm mad. I hate that. It's such a cop out. I hate people who do that. It's a cop out. No, you want to play. You want to have fun. Let's have fun. You want to throw a shot. You want to throw a, you know, you want to, you want to fire a bullet. I want to fire a cannon. What's wrong with that? Right? I don't see anything wrong with that. You want to fire a bullet? I want to fire a nuclear warhead. And then, but I'm tripping because you know I, I I may I may get a little too real. I may get a little too dirty, a little too nasty with it. But if you came to play, let's play. That's all I'm saying. Hey, shout out to Simone. If you want to play, we can play. You, you was there. You was there. You was there. Yo, okay. All right. At least you know. Look, Simone. Shout out to Simone on the Instagram. The fact that you said that, that lets you know how deep this runs. When I'm speaking about it, because I ain't come with that intention. But if you want to put that forward, let's play. That's exactly the same place it comes from. That's exactly the same place it comes from. That's crazy. That's beautiful to see that you guys remember that, though. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting ready to jump into uh, some practice rounds for Call of Duty Warzone because I am getting ready to play in a tournament. Like I said, all the proceeds of this tournament go on to uh, help with HBCUs. Um, I had the opportunity. I had been to, I've been to D.C. like four or five times in my life, and I never visited uh, Howard. I never had the opportunity to even know where Howard University is. Um, so I go to, I, I went there about two years ago and I was by myself. I had flown in for an event and I decided to just take a Uber to Howard university. I just wanted to see what the campus was. I had never seen it, been there several times in the city. So I go and I just happened to weirdly show up at a time where, uh, the student, the students were, I don't, I don't want to say rebelling, but they were, they were holding us a, a, a sit-in against the actual school so it was i was like oh shit so i show up and i just walk on camera just walking around and they like yo you know what's going on here right and i was like oh shit so they're they're walking me through the halls of stuff i was like yo this is wild but it was during a um a, like a demonstration like during a protest that the students were having does anyone recall when this was happening this had to be like two years ago It was crazy. My first experience at home at Howard, it wasn't Howard homecoming. Everyone talks about the homecoming at Howard, all that. I'm like, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna see what, I'm gonna 
Let's see what Howard hit for. I know about the HBCU. Shout out to all the Howard alumni around here. I know the kind of we gonna do here. Not only is she beautiful, she educated. I'm getting ready to go ahead and cuff one around here. I show up and it's like, oh, y'all at war. They took over the entire uh, uh, teacher's facility joint. Um, they, uh, some of them hadn't showered in days. I was like, oh, okay. This was real. This happened. Go look it up. I was there. There's a pit. There's some video or picture of me walking around that campus. I was like, I just, I just, I didn't, I wanted to come and check out the campus. And I showed up during the goddamn sit in. There's a financial aid scandal because of Tyrone on the scam. Oh, was that what that I remember that happening before I do. I think that was the final straw that caused the students to be like, that's it. I'm pretty sure that's how it was. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Sugar Mama Jess. Shout out to Sugar Mama Jess for coming through and gifting another five subs to the community. Thank you, Sugar Mama Jess. I do appreciate it. I highly appreciate it. More than you know. Thank you guys so much. I love it all. We're just getting started here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas. Um, you guys are watching here. I appreciate it. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Fortuna Soray. Happy birthday to you. Or if that was your name. Happy birthday. Um, all right, so I'm getting ready to jump in, like I said, and do some practice rounds. Twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas. Pull up right now. We're going to continue having great conversations, playing video games, and um, yeah, man. Thanks for all, for everything, you know. Do yourself a favor, man. Uh, don't get caught up in all this Instagram stuff. Don't get caught up on the social media hype being in everyone else's business. In all reality, a lot of us need to be minding our own goddamn business, don't you think? A lot of us got a lot of stuff going on in our heads, stuff we're dealing with, but we choose to mask it and hide it and, uh, you know, look look into someone else's life to make ourselves feel better about our own shitty ones. You gotta stop that. Start working on yourself. 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 Uh, with that being said, I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Slick Living, and uh, I will see you guys when you head over to twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas, all right? Peace out. Boom. Appreciate it. If you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you at twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas. Let me know when you get here. Peace. Peace. Oh, oh.